Hi, welcome to Daily Worship. Romans 8, 28 to 39 says, And we know that God causes everything to work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose for them. For God knew his people in advance, and he chose them to become like his son so that his son would be the firstborn among many brothers and sisters. And having chosen them, he called them to come to him. And having called them, he gave them right standing with himself. And having given them right standing, he gave them his glory. What should we say about such wonderful things as these? If God is for us, who can ever be against us? Since he did not spare even his own son, but gave him up for us all, won't he also give us everything else? Who dares accuse us whom God has chosen for his own? No one, for God himself has given us right standing with himself. Who then will condemn us? No one, for Christ Jesus died for us and was raised to life for us. And he is sitting in the place of honor at God's right hand, pleading for us. Can anything ever separate us from Christ's love? Does it mean he no longer loves us if we have trouble or calamity? or are persecuted, or hungry, or destitute, or in danger, or threatened with death? As the scriptures say, for your sake we are killed every day. We're being slaughtered like sheep. No, despite all these things, overwhelming victory is ours through Christ who loved us. And I'm convinced that nothing can ever separate us from God's love. Neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor demons, neither our fears for today nor our worries about tomorrow. Not even the powers of hell can separate us from God's love. No power in the sky above or in the earth below. Indeed, nothing in all creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of God that is revealed in Christ Jesus our Lord. Our 
with us Then what could stand against And if our God is for us Then who could ever stop us And if our God is with us Then who could stand against Water you turned in a white of the blind There's no one like you No one like you Into the darkness you shine Out of the ashes we rise There's no one like you No one like you Truly, holy Lord, set apart, one of a kind, great ruler of the universe, creator of all, the one in whom we live and move and have our being. Lord, thank you that you love us so, that you look on us as your children, and that you restore us, Lord, from the ashes of our lives, Lord, that you lift us up. Lord, that as we turn to you and return to you, Lord, that you replace our rags with the, right, the white robes of your righteousness. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for life with you. Thank you for your love. Lord, it's everything. Amen.